ya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today we're going to be talking about the end of pond season. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, so as you know I've uh, been doing outdoor guppy ponds for the last three or four years. I'll put a link to some videos up here for you. And every year I get asked the same couple questions at the beginning. When do you put them out? You know, do you feed them? How do you filter them? And every year at the end I get asked the same questions. When do you take them in? What do you do with them all? Do you have to treat them? So. I'm going to answer those questions because it is the end of August and in many parts of the country it's starting to get a little cooler at night and it's time to start planning and thinking about what you're going to do with all your mutt guppies or any guppies that you've uh, grown up outside in a pond. Before we get started I just want to say uh, you may have noticed I am not talking about the coldest water anymore. My contract is up. So I am not contractedly obligated to talk about them, but I still use the cup every day because it is the coldest water. All right, so guppy ponds, when do you bring them in? Well, it's kind of personal preference, but what works for me, Michael from Michael's Fish Room, this handsome devil, is when the overnight lows get into the 50s, that's when I start to bring them in. You know, if we're going to have one day in the 50s, one night where it's 58 degrees, but it's 75 during the day, 80 during the day, no. But if we're talking about four or five consecutive days, overnight lows in the 50s, that's when I bring them in. Now, that said, that's without a heater. Um, this year, I had a heater outside, and I was able to... Uh, put my guppies out earlier and I'm going to be able to extend the guppy season outside later um, probably until it's consistently in the low 50s. Now a heater outside is going to run a lot at night and that's going to drive up your electrical bill but for me it's worth it for the business. So without a heater overnight lows three or four nights touching into the 50s. That's when I would bring them in. With the heater, low 50s, four or five nights, three or four nights in a row. Um, the other thing you can do is simply test. Go out in the morning and test your water and see what temperature it is. I like the non-contact temperature probe. I'll put a link down below from Amazon. It will be an affiliate link, so click it, I make shekels. Now, another question I ask is, what do I do with them? I put them in my massive 90 gallon mutt guppy tank. I treat them and then I sell them. Uh, what you do with them, you know, you can sell them at swap meets or, or uh, donate them to your fish club where they can auction them off. You can give them to friends. If you have, um, you know, a local fish store that'll take them, most take them for credit. Usually it's not that much because they're mutt guppies. Um, but the other thing, if you're local to me and you want me to pick them up, I will gladly take them off your hands. Now remember, all these mutt guppies from outside, from that one tub, came from the mutt guppy project. They came from you guys. All the DNA from you guys. I didn't add anything to that tub. The other tub I did, the one on the left was uh, the imported guppy mutt guppy tank. And uh, I'm dying to see what we get at the end of the season from that tank. Now, the middle, the mutt guppy project tank, I'm going to start pulling those guppies in this weekend. Uh, because I have to treat them for two weeks. I want to treat them at least uh, before I sell them. And I'm running low inside. So uh, I want to make sure they're treated and healthy before I ship them out. Which leads me to the next sort of question I get all the time is, so what do I do with the guppies uh, when I bring them in from outside? Well, I treat them like any new guppy in my fish room. They get my um, quarantine procedure, which is uh, Furan 2, which is a... Uh, API product, and I really like. And I use the Fix Ick, which is a Fritz product that I get from my buddy Keith at KJE. And of course, I treat them for internal parasites with Levamisol Flake from Everything Aquatic. Uh, I am not sure if Dina's website is working uh, completely, so if you go to her website and you do not see any um, medicated food, just email her and she'll get back to you with prices and stuff like that. 
I know for a while she was having some issues with her web designer was taking some long time, but who cares? So I treat them with that for one week. My, my quarantine procedure, I'll put up here a link uh, to that, but for one week. And then one week of um, observation. Now these flakes are feed one to two times for a week for three weeks. I feed this for two weeks. A few days in the beginning, a few days, and then I ship them. Uh, unless I see parasites or they're still really skinny, then of course I'll hold them and treat them again. I assume and expect you buy any fish from anywhere, from me, from uh, Lucas, anywhere that you buy guppies from, you will quarantine them before you put them in their tank. And that's my expectation because that's what I preach. So hopefully you do that. So again, I bring them inside uh, for a two week quarantine period, one week with all the meds. The second week get, they get the Levamazole flake as well. I observe and ship when healthy. Now the last thing that a lot of people ask me is about, Mike, they, what are you gonna do with all those plants? They go in the compost bin. I don't ship plants, I don't sell plants. If you're local and you wanna pick them up to me, I can probably work something out, but uh, I'm not a shipper of plants. I don't know if they're gonna survive. I don't wanna risk it. Um, so they're gonna go in the compost bin. If you live somewhere where those hyacinths are gonna survive longer and you want them, email me and shoot me an offer. I have about a hundred gajillion of them because I bought five or six for each tub and they multiply like guppies. So, folks, that's what I do for my mutt guppy or any guppy tubs uh, when I bring them in. Now, I'm not bringing them in yet. It's only the end of September. I plan on bringing them in uh, a little by little to treat and sell. Um, and then hopefully, I will have an idea of how many I've, I've sort of collected, and then I will let you know probably at the uh, end of October. That's, I'm guessing the end of October is when I'm gonna have to bring them in, even with the heater, so. Folks, any questions about guppies, uh, email me through my website. I will do my best to answer them. Of course, uh, michaelsfishroom.com is the website where you can buy really nice plecos and guppies, and now Corey's too. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a great day. What do you do as far as treating them when you bring them in? I treat them like new fish in the fish room. They get the, um, okay, all right, okay. Well, me, I sell them. I put them in my massive 90 gallon mutt duck guppy tank. That's, I'm gonna do that again. Uh, the one on the left, that was that was. And of course, I treat them for internal parasites with Levamisol flake. And I use the Fick Ick, Fick Ick.